Alright, I just want to do a quick video on overclocking a 6970. Now this is an ASUS 6970. It is an actual ASUS 6970, not a 6950 with a BioFlash. And we are at stock clocks. I wanted to do this video because I'm seeing a lot of people saying, no, you can't tweak the voltage, there's no headroom. Well, there is. Alright. So. You need a couple things. We got Smart Doctor open there. We get the Catalyst Control Center open. CPU ID. We're running a uh, Phenom 955. I don't know if you can see that. Overclock to 3.86. And well, Northbridge is to 2400. And the HT link is to what, 2176. Alright. So first thing we're going to need to do is come over to Smart Doctor and tweak the voltage. Alright, I'm going to use 1.225. Uh, this is high as I've gotten so far. As you can see, there's plenty of headroom. You can go up to 1.5, so there's a lot of headroom left there. We're going to go to Apply Settings. Uh, okay. Alright, now for people that say they can't adjust the voltage or get anything more than 950 by 1400 out of it, uh, you got to hit this little button right here, which brings up this window. And make, sure you, uh, make sure you check Overclocking Range Enhancement. Alright and then that'll allow you to tweak the voltage get you know go as far as you want with the sliders we're going to use the sliders in the catalyst control center just because I can adjust them better they don't mess with me so we're going to go to a thousand megahertz on the GPU which is one gigahertz and we're going to go to 1475 on the uh, memory Apply. Alright, go over here and look at some temperatures quick. Now I am water cooling. I am using a coolant water block. So that's why the temperature's a little low there. And open up fraps here. And we're gonna run Alien vs Predator. I'd like to give a big thanks to Tech Power Up for all my utilities and benchmarks for free. Can't beat it. So, you need them, go to Tech Power Up, go to their download section, have all the uh, geek utilities you can possibly want. Let's see if we can get the frames in there. Sorry about the video quality, I'm shooting this with my new uh, Samsung Fascinate from Verizon. Seems to be doing a decent job, but I guess we'll see once we get this posted.
And there you have it. We got one gigahertz and 1475 on the memory. All right, let's check some quick temperatures quick. See what the highs were. As you can see, if you're air cooling, the memory gets quite hot. Uh, all the tests I did on air cooling, and that's where I failed the most. I mean, on air cooling, I was able to get 950 by 1450. Uh, but you got to ramp the fan up. Once the card gets over 70, it gets a little unstable. Uh, you know, you might get through four or five benchmarks before one gets a little too hot, and I. Uh, I solely believe it's the memory getting way too hot. Uh, but it is possible. It is loud. Because you're going to need to go over 50% on your fan speed. To keep that 100% stable. That's why I just water cooled it. And that, that's about as far as I've gone so far. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play with it. So... I think one gigahertz is pretty good. Uh, 3D Mark 11, it's going around 5300. Uh, could be better. I'm being a little bottlenecked by my uh, Phenom 955. Nothing I'm noticing as far as real world performance, but benchmarks, hey, you can see it. Comparing it to other benchmarks with people running Intel's or AMD 6 cores. But I'm happy with it. I'm going to wait to upgrade my CPU until Bulldozer comes. So, alright. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up.